Hi everybody, I'm Richard and uh, this is the first video on my new channel, The Inspired Minimalist. As you can see, I've got no fancy surroundings this morning. I'm just in my works vehicle, um, just about to start work um, at one of my customers. I'm a landscape gardener, so uh, I tend to end up with lots of work clutter, um, never mind uh, clutter at home. So the reasoning behind the minimalism thing for a few years now i've been um, following like tiny ass movements and through that a few videos popped up about minimalism and i tend to find that with my anxiety that clutter seems to frustrate me quite a lot um, it can get me irritable and i just seem to be moving stuff around to get anywhere I'm not very productive at times because I can spend half an hour looking for a tool or I'll end up having to go and buy another tool even when I know I've got one but it's just not economical time wise to find one. So I run my small business from home, I'm, uh, I'm 36 and I've been self employed for three years now, I started out as a handyman, um, being self employed previously. I, um, I was electrical trained, so I've got quite a bit of knowledge and then over the years I've gathered quite a few tools. Obviously for the handyman business, you needed an immense amount of tools because you didn't know what you'd be doing. And uh, then when I've got into the gardening, landscaping side, I've had to retrain, um, do many qualifications for chainsaws and uh, bush cutters, lawn mowers, all that kind of stuff. So uh, I've literally got stuff everywhere so it's going to be a bigger challenge and something different to the other videos you see because I want to try and uh, minimalise um, the tools and the equipment I've got to gain maximum profit and that's going to be a case of looking at different services and uh, seeing what I can offer without needing more kit. Obviously more kit means more expenditure, expenditure. it means more um, repairs, I've, I've struggled to store stuff, just got a small bungalow in England, so um, yeah there's not a lot of space anywhere really, and uh, my business isn't that viable yet that I can afford storage anywhere, and then why would I want to be paying storage costs for machinery that I don't really use, so it's going to be a case of streamlining my business and then when uh, obviously my business um, has a massive impact on my home's life and home storage all those kind of things so um, whereas other people are doing uh, minimalism videos on just the wardrobe and the clutter I've got quite a bit more of a challenge and uh, so I've got to, yeah, I've got to kind of sort that out because my my tools have actually started taking over the home as well. The spare bedroom, yeah, there's quite a lot in there, and then other places around the home. So I want to get all that clear, get the house being back a house again, and uh, sort out everything that's outside. And then when I am inside and I've sorted all the tools out then got um, a nine-year-old daughter she's accumulated quite a few toys over the years so we need to sort those out um, I myself and my wife I'm not sure whether she wants to partake in this I've not really asked her um, I know she's not into getting rid of stuff she can be I wouldn't say a hoarder but she doesn't buy a lot but then she doesn't tend to get rid of a lot either so but for me I want to sort my wardrobe out, thin all that down. I tend to go and get clothes out of there now when I put them on. I don't feel comfortable in, in them. I don't feel like they're my style and uh, generally feel dated and I don't feel very comfortable or they don't make, not very flattering. Um, I put on quite a bit of weight as well over the last two years. So I probably plonked on two stone. Although, um, probably don't look that fat um, and I'm probably not that overweight I could do with dropping a stone and a half so that's going to be another challenge and in doing so I've got 
several pairs of brand new jeans that I really like that I can't fit into so it's going to mean that I can get rid of the the ones I've got now that aren't very comfortable and again not very well liked so they'll go there's quite a bit of sports equipment for running in the gym at the minute don't go to the gym because um, I just haven't got the funds to to do it I'm struggling a little bit with business so um, got all that so I need to take up some exercise but then again sort all those clothes out um, I've started getting rid of books and DVDs and things but what the whole aim is I want to get everything I can out of the house everything that doesn't add any value to me and anything we haven't really used for a year so that's all going to go um, yeah and that's about it in terms of getting rid of the stuff I find that's going to be the the hardest challenge because you put some things on eBay and they take a while to get rid of and um, you do tend to get like an emotional attachment to to your items um, if they've got monetary value sometimes it's hard to let them go to a charity shop because um, as I said business is struggling a bit I could do with all the money I've got and I've seen on some minimalism videos they can just go out and buy a whole new wardrobe <coughs> and start again well that's not the case for me because I couldn't afford that um, for myself and my wife so we've got to kind of get rid of possessions save that money and then put that to sorting out storage solutions so um, when we get rid of bits we're going to use that to buy tubs to organize things and obviously organizing is not the best way because you're just organizing all the time so it's we've got to minimize then organize the possessions we've got left and then obviously buy some new clothes and things so there's quite a lot to do sorry it's a long video um, but I just thought I'd introduce myself and the channel so no fancy surroundings at the minute so it's all raw I haven't got a fancy camera it's just um, all recorded on the Samsung S7 so that may change over time <clears throat> I used to have fancy camera gear and I got rid of that to start my business so um, yeah we'll see but for now this works it gets a video out there so uh, I don't see the point in spending on any more kit at present when I've got lots more to do so that's it that's me um, I'm going to try and do probably two videos a week I've started um, the minimalism challenges but I've set it at um, three items a day because I feel that's achievable for me so just go home sort three out list them and uh, or give them away obviously if I'm donating it's easier to get rid of more stuff um, and on certain days we will do that especially when we clear out the wardrobe um, so yeah I think I think I've uh, covered all the bases there so nice to meet you all oh one last thing I've uh, I have got the domains for the inspired minimalist so I plan on building a website over the uh, next year or so but I am on Instagram uh, kind of mix my work and um, this minimalism stuff all together so you can find me there the inspired minimalist and on facebook and that's it enjoy your day and i'll do another video shortly thanks for watching